Frankie Beverly, the legendary soul singer and frontman of the band Maze, passed away on September 10, 2024, at the age of 77. Beverly's family confirmed his passing in a heartfelt message shared on social media, describing him as a man who lived his life with pure soul and emphasizing the immense void left behind by his departure. The statement reflected the deep love and admiration his family held for him, noting, for us, no one did it better. Beverly's music, family, and friends were the core of his life, and his legacy will continue to inspire generations. Born Howard Stanley Beverly on December 6, 1946 in Philadelphia, Frankie Beverly's music career spanned over six decades, during which he became a significant figure in R&B and soul. He gained prominence as the leader of Maze, a band that, while not always topping mainstream charts, became a cultural institution with hits like Before I Let Go, Joy and Pain, and Golden Time of Day. The band's music has been woven into the fabric of black culture, played at countless family gatherings, celebrations, and special occasions. Earlier this year, Frankie Beverly concluded a farewell tour with Maze, marking his retirement from live performances. His influence on the music industry and the loyalty of his fan base, which remained strong over decades without the release of new albums, speaks to the timeless nature of his work. Even artists like Beyonce, who covered his song Before I Let Go, paid tribute to his legacy, Frankie Beverly's passing leaves a profound impact on both the music world and the community he so deeply touched. But his music and spirit will live on through the countless people who have been moved by his soulful melodies. Frankie Beverly's passing has indeed left a profound sadness among fans who spent years enjoying his unique blend of soul, funk, and R&B. His music, particularly through his band Maze, became a soundtrack for some of life's most special and meaningful moments, particularly within Black American culture. Songs like Before I Let Go and Joy and Pain were staples at family reunions, cookouts, and celebrations, providing comfort, joy, and a sense of community. Beverly's smooth voice and timeless lyrics resonated across generations, cementing his place as an icon in the R&B and soul music landscape. Outside of his music career, Beverly's personal life, especially his relationships, has often intrigued fans. While some sources suggest that Frankie Beverly remained single for much of his life, others speculate about his romantic involvement with journalist Pam Moore, who is believed to be his long-term partner the exact nature of their relationship, as well as details about his broader personal life, remains largely private and somewhat mysterious, adding to the legend of Beverly as a figure of deep soulfulness and enigma. Although Frankie Beverly may never have officially married, his longtime relationship with journalist Pam Moore has certainly sparked curiosity and conversation over the years. While the couple never tied the knot, their connection was undeniable. Beverly often referred to Pam as his long-term partner, but many who knew the couple speculated that she was more than just that, possibly his better half. Their bond was deep, and they shared a significant part of their lives together for over a decade, solidifying their status as one of the most enduring partnerships in the music world. Beverly himself acknowledged the profound role Pam played in his life, famously sharing, she's my best friend and I'm thankful for her because she has sacrificed for me. This statement illustrates not only their personal closeness, but also the sacrifices she made to support his career. Pam was a constant presence in his life, attending key events like his son's wedding in 1997, which further fueled the perception that their relationship extended beyond casual dating. Their relationship, although never formalized by marriage, was clearly built on deep affection, loyalty, and mutual respect. Pam Moore's steadfast presence in Beverly's life gave fans and onlookers a glimpse into a partnership that stood the test of time, even without traditional labels. Frankie Beverly was candid about how his music career played a significant role in his decision not to marry. He once openly admitted, I think that the music thing has kept me from being married, highlighting that his commitment to his craft often took precedence over other aspects of life, including relationships. Despite his long-term relationship with Pam Moore, Beverly described himself as a self-described loner, uncertain about how he would manage the responsibilities and commitments that come with marriage. His passion for music remained his greatest love throughout his life, a sentiment he didn't shy away from as part of his life. Beverly cherished his role as a father and grandfather. He frequently spoke about the joy he found in his son, Anthony Beverly, 
and his grandchildren, including Tierra and Ava. His love for performing and music, however, seemed to rival even the deep love he had for his family. As he once said, it's the love, it's never too much love. This remark encapsulates how music and family coexisted in his life, both deeply important yet distinct in the way they fulfilled him. Regarding Anthony Beverly's mother, there has always been some mystery. Although she stays out of the public eye, Anthony often honors her with heartfelt messages, especially on occasions like her birthday or Mother's Day. The woman behind these tributes is Wanda Forrest, who, according to reports, currently resides with Anthony in California. Frankie Beverly's devotion to both his music and his family left a lasting impact, and though his personal relationships were kept largely private, his legacy as an artist and as a father remains significant in the lives of those closest to him. Frankie Beverly's son, Anthony Beverly, has indeed inherited his father's musical talent, continuing the family legacy. From an early age, Anthony was immersed in music, learning to play the drums as a toddler, and eventually joining his father's legendary band, Maze, during his early 20s. Anthony's career in music has been steadily building ever since, not only as a performer, but also behind the scenes as the producer and director of A&R at Brontera Music Group, Inc. His role in the industry highlights his diverse talents and contributions to the world of music, much like his father before him. While Anthony has built a strong career in music, he also shows great love and appreciation for his mother, Wanda Forrest. Although Wanda remains largely out of the public eye, Anthony regularly celebrates her on social media, especially on occasions like her birthday and Mother's Day. These heartfelt tributes showcase the strong bond between mother and son, even though Wanda prefers a life away from the limelight. Currently, Wanda Forrest is believed to be living with Anthony in California, where she enjoys her life away from the public eye, while Anthony continues to make his mark in the music industry. Following in the footsteps of his iconic Frankie father, Beverly's passing Frankie marks Beverly. the end of an era for soul and R&B music, yet his legacy continues to live on through the countless lives he touched. From the heartfelt tributes at his funeral to the enduring love of his fans and fellow musicians, Beverly's influence is undeniable. His music, especially timeless hits like Before I Let Go and Joy and Pain, became part of the cultural fabric, particularly within Black American communities, where it was played at family reunions, weddings, and celebrations. Although Beverly never married, his close relationship with Pam Moore and the love he showed for his son Anthony and his grandchildren highlighted his deep family values. Anthony, who followed in his father's musical footsteps, ensures that the Beverly family's legacy will endure in the music world. Frankie Beverly's contributions to music will forever resonate as his songs continue to be played and celebrated across generations. His unique sound and message of love and unity have left an indelible mark, reminding us that while he may be gone, his spirit remains alive through his music. His funeral was not just a time of mourning, but a celebration of a life devoted to sharing joy and love through soulful melodies, ensuring that his influence will never be forgotten.